<clears throat> Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday from a warm and pouring rain, East Tennessee. I don't know if you can hear the rain behind me here outside, but uh, it's coming down pretty good. So we're in the midst of this first storm that I was talking about last night. But the weather is not what I'm here to talk about. Uh, I guess the only thing to say is, like I said in the title, told you so. Uh, not you guys in particular, but the morons that are running this country. It's very funny because months and months and months back, you know, everybody was asking, you know, oh, what do you think about all these vaccine mandates and, you know, what's it going to do and everything. And my comment ages and ages ago was they're going to do it. <clears throat> it's going to blow up in their face and then everybody's going to have to come back to work. Right? You probably all remember me saying that. You guys pretty much all agreed, you know, because it's stupidity. It's kind of like the the comment on, oh, we're gonna bring the National Guard into the doc into the hospitals and they're going to, you know, save the day. Except all you're doing is taking them out of one hospital and putting them into another one, so it doesn't do squat. Well, I guess this is starting to happen. Okay, and I'm going to start with this one. I got an email from Rooster the other day. Okay, you all know Rooster. I mean, if you don't, I mean, Christ, where have you been? <laughs> I mean, he's one of our regulars. I'll just read the beginning to this. Is hello, my friend. Well, we all got the dreaded COVID. Only reason I'm contacting you on this, and this will knock you back a step. My son is an EMT and also drives an ambulance. Well, we've tested positive. My son and my wife, my son and I, my wife and daughter Daughter-in-law all got our tests today, all positive. Well, my son's work, and I'll keep that on a lowdown because he asked me to do so, but he, will also, he also asked me to contact you. They will not release him from work because of a lack of emergency employees, and he and I have both have limited symptoms. I'm in quarantine, and he isn't, and he's in emergency services. Just notified me every one of it, everyone at his work is now tested positive and must work. How freaking serious is this? Okay. So think about this, the Biden administration, the Trudeau administration, the Macron administration, the Johnson administration, I mean, pick one, okay? Doesn't make a lick of difference. This is the word, a long, cold, dead winter, whatever the hell the uh, terminology is and everything like that. It's just panic. There was some county in Pennsylvania that went to, uh, declared a county emergency yesterday because of Omicron. Okay. Still, at this point, there is one person in the United States who has died from Omicron, and there are two fatalities worldwide from it. Two. Okay. But God forbid, we've got to panic about this. All right. Well, this isn't just a single situation that happened for Rooster. Let me show you something. True story. November 15th, I was terminated from my nursing job because of mandates. This weekend on December 18th, I had a message from staffing <laughs> asking me if I could work this weekend all through Christmas and all through to the new year. They're so desperately short. Just thought you'd see that little clip. Apparently this is going on all over North America, at least from what I can find. Okay. Saw comments that I've run across here. And I'll just read this one to you. My friend is a nurse in Oregon. The local hospital fired 140 nurses over VAX mandates. So now they hire a bunch of traveling nurses to fill the position. And guess what? Traveling nurses don't have to be vaccinated. Stupidity. Okay. Here's another one. It's almost like they fired hundreds and hundreds of nurses out of spite and rage and vengeance, but forgot they actually need them. All right. This is going on here. Headline out of CBC News in Quebec. Quebec to allow some health workers who test positive for COVID-19 to keep working in certain circumstances. 
Okay. Here's another one. Hospitals in Alberta, Canada put 1,400 healthcare workers on leave before Christmas for being unvaccinated. Now they're begging them to come back because of the Omicron sur surge. Gee, like I said, told you so. Now, I will say this from just hearing from you guys and everything like that. Most medical professionals are in it because they love what they do, okay? They have that inherent gene or whatever it would be that, you know, their life's mission is to take care of other people who can't take care of themselves. And I have the highest respect for doctors, nurses, whatever it is, who go through the training, the schooling, the, the grueling schedules that they pull off. You know, you think about this. A hospital is not a nine to five Monday through Friday job, okay? Nor is an EMT, nor is a cop, nor is a fire, firefighter, nor is a soldier, nor anything like that, okay? That's a 24-7, 365 job. You know, doctors, nurses work Christmas, New Year's, birthdays, 4th of July, graveyards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, they don't punch a clock, you know, gee, I mean... You know, oh, there was a 40-car pile up on the highway, and we've got, you know, 22 ambulances on the way in. Okay, well, have fun, guys. I'm, a, I'm off. You know, it's 5 o'clock. It's time for me to go home. That doesn't happen, okay? Sure, they have schedules that they work, okay? But in case of need, they go work and work and work and work. I mean, you know, you all have heard many stories about doctors and nurses pulling 40 and 50 hour shifts, okay? You try to stay awake, coherent, and completely professional after you've been up for a day and a half, okay? I got a lot of respect for these people. But now they are being asked to come back by the same people who a year ago called them heroes a few months ago, called them bums and said, oh, we were wrong. We need you to come back. I'm desperate, so you need to do something. Okay. This is what the hospitals are telling them. You know, it's kind of that old saying, you know, an emergency, you know, what was it? A crisis on your part does not uh, mean it's an emergency on my part. Okay. And I look at this in a interesting scenario. All these doctors and nurses and everything like that who have been terminated are now being asked to come back. That sounds like an abusive relationship to me. I don't know about you guys, okay? Gee, you know what? He beat me, you know, she cheated on me, whatever it is. Oh, forget all that. Please come back. Explain to me what the difference is. Because I really don't see any. Okay. If they want to go back, and I'm assuming a lot of them are going to want to, okay, more power to them. Again, it's a choice. If they don't, I have no sympathy for the hospital administrators. I have a lot of sympathy for the patients who would be treated, okay, but none for the hospital administrators. This is when doctors and nurses and everything need to stand together and say, yes, we will come back on one condition. The person that fired them is out of here because obviously they have no concept whatsoever in how a hospital works. Have a good morning. Good morning.